so I'm here today to talk a little bit about uh, counters to Achilles locks. And today I've got with me Paul the Flying Squirrel, uh, who's uh, one of our competitors. He's going to demonstrate the Achilles on me, and then I'll go over a couple ways to get out. So Paul's going to start in my guard, just drop back. However, however he works his setup, bang, he's going back, and he's dropping into his Achilles. Normally he's going to have this outside foot oh, posted up on my hip. You can see this ankle's right in here. His knee is up and through in this sense. Now he's giving a good clamp on my leg. And if I let Paul go and drive his chest down, I'm going to be tapped. It's going to be bad times. So what do I do once he's here? There's a lot of prevention steps, but every now and again, you're going to end up in this spot. What do I got to do? OK, so first things first. Uh, from a pure like uh, standpoint of countering in terms of using my own submissions against him, if I can keep my foot safe. So notice right now, my toes are pointed. He's got a good bite right under my my, uh, my calcaneus there, my ankle, it's just a really, really rough bite. What I need to do to make sure I don't get tapped immediately is secure some kind of a grip and get my foot through farther to the point where now, see how I'm actually leaning his shoulder forward by curling my foot? This bite here, now when Paul, go ahead and get your grip again. Now that my leg is straight, if he gets his grip, he's higher up on my ankle. He's no longer folding my foot and he's no longer attacking the base of the Achilles tendon itself. So this is going to be a lot less tender. It's going to bide me time. A lot of the time guys won't even be able to finish. But even if it's possible, it's at least going to bide me time. So this is first priority. We're here. He's got a good bite. I grab his hand, whichever hand. If I can break his grips, happy birthday. I might not be able to though. I'm just going to do what I call putting on the boot. So I'm here, boom. I put on the boot. Shove my leg through. Now, I'm going to, if I want to do a counter attack, the first attack I'm going to work is a traditional toe hold on his inside leg. I'm going to grab, so I'm going to reach with my right hand in this case, grab his ankle. I'm going to grab with my second hand. I'm going to kick this leg out so that his foot pops out. So we're here. His foot's probably going to be up on my hip. I grab with both. I hop through so his foot pops out. I cup underneath with my left arm, really clamping and bicing. Notice my toes are now facing the ceiling. He has no angle for an Achilles here. He's on the side of my leg, so I'm perfectly safe. Clamping, really vicing with this elbow. Grab the toes, my pinky finger to his pinky toe. Folding under, grab behind my own knuckles, not behind my wrist, behind my own knuckles, and I wind his toes in and point them onto his hip pointer here. And I get my counter with the toe hold. So we were here, I put on the boot. I went grip number one, grip number two. I pull this thing out, clamp. I get a vice. This needs to be stuck to my chest. That's super important. This stuff is all fine and dandy, but if Paul can kick his leg free, just like, yeah, straight out, I don't have it. The way I keep him from kicking his leg straight out is clamping in and folding his toes. Now, kick your leg straight. Nah, that's not really going to happen. He's going to have to hurt himself. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> so over here. Boom, I can get my finish that way. Bring the toe to the hip pointer. Okay, that's finish number one. Second counter I can do after I put on the boot. All right, Paul is here. I still, I mean, I still don't want to hang out here forever. He might switch to a heel hook or he might get on top and take top position. No matter what, I want to come up with something quick. So if I can't get this leg out and I want another attack, I'm going to grab his toes on this side. I'm going to pull his foot up as I drop from my elbow to my shoulder. So I'm here, boom. Like so. He's right on the hip bone for the most part. I'm going to grab the toes. I drop from my elbow to my shoulder. This hand comes up onto like an uppercut. My hands are here. I switch this hand from the front side of his toes to the back side of his toes. My boot is still on strong, so he can't get his attack. Fold his toes down with this hand. So I'm really leveraging, and I get a grip with my second hand. At this point, I'm really getting an uncomfortable bend. Again, vicing my forearm to secure his foot into my chest. Common theme, no matter if I'm doing this switch grip toe hold or regular toe hold. Here, vicing in. Now, I fold the toes towards the middle of his chest, and I get my submission for the switch grip toe hold. So we're here again. He's got his grip. I can't work my first attack. I pry, come under, boom. Right here, right off the bat, nose keeping the boot straight, keeping this leg safe. As I wind, pull the toe towards the face. And that's how you work toe hold counters to an Achilles.